Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Particle Fleet Emergence. We're now on episode five, and we face mission number nine, called Emergent, and hopefully we'll get more information on the origin worlds. Entering redacted space, launch mission. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is really fun. Oh, here we go. The sensors must be off. Recalibrating. Hmm, everything is working correctly. I can see it, Danu. We all can. The organization in the system is on an incredible scale. Someone or something attempted to build a massive structure in space. Huh, interesting. I'm detecting energy emanating from around the perimeter of the structure. There are pods which look like some form of weapon. The design doesn't match anything in the Galcorp database. They could be e alien in construction. Interesting. Or they could sim simply be not in the Galcorp database. Perhaps they're from a time before the Galactic Corporation. These guys here, I think, is what they're talking about, the little weapons here. The Galactic Corporation has maintained the complete history of humanity, its genesis on the now lost origin world, growth into the First Empire, the ecological disaster that led to the creation of redacted space, and the many millennia that have followed since. Perhaps it isn't the whole truth, Director Thoth. What we have seen so far in redacted space points to additional elements in that story, elements the Galactic Corporation has perched from our history. In any case, we must engage the particulate in the system and collect what information we can. Ready for battle! Ah, absolutely, Captain. Let's move in our forces. I think we will start on this side and kind of go around, collect some of this, and maybe go around and collect some of this. We do have some emitters over here. Looks like we've got one of those little warp portal things. So if we shoot into this one, it should pop out particulate over here. And we've got our own friendly emitter here. And then these little weapons. I don't know. I don't know what those are going to be like. Okay, could be interesting. All right, let's launch our corporate HQ. We'll stick that right here. We will grab... This energy mod, a few of the crystals, will also maybe place down a lathe right here so we don't have to sit here and collect all of these crystals by ourselves. We can use a lathe to sort of assist with that. Let's get some Omnis out. Omni. 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 There we go. Done deal. Perfect. Excellent. Good start, actually. I think that's a really good start for us. Uh, we'll get quite a few crystals here. We could probably start building um, cruisers and stuff right away. Actually, let's do that. Because, look, we've got 500 and some stored. You know, we could probably start getting our heavy hitters built. And it's probably a really good idea. We could probably even get them equipped with our amp gems too as well while we're... Oh, like, oh, like, uh, for a second there, I thought I couldn't place the amp gems until they were... Perfect. Another system, another Omni. So we've got another Omni. Fantastic. Perfect. Looks like we're going to get a ship. We have just collected a very familiar ship. This is the prized Wolf-class missile carrier. <laughs> Excellent. Impressive. Eight, eight missile launchers on a single ship that can deliver serious damage. Indeed, this ship, ship should play an integral role in our defense. Ogun, I'd expect you to be jumping with joy. Ah, yes. Very good. Much welcome addition. I shall put it to good use. Ah, so we have a new ship, the Wolf-class missile carrier. Oh, eight missile launchers. I like that very much. Let's get that going. Let's move our Command HQ down here to collect some of those crystals and those energy mines. I'm also, maybe we'll build, a, whoops, let's build another lathe too right away. Uh, a new energy signature has appeared on the scanners. Huh? The particulate has managed to create some sort of mobile and emergent, emergent form of itself. The motion of these emergent is very directed and must have must form a prim, uh, must have a form of priv primitive guidance. Uh, I've seen nothing like this before in my simulator. It is an adaptive behavior on a new level. Where is it coming from, and how do we counter it? It appears to spawn almost randomly from mired land. So the more land the particulate mires, the faster the emergent will spawn. Our weapons will target the emergent just like they target the particulate. It is close enough to inform to the particulate that no adjustments are necessary, but it looks very tough. A single emergent could easily tear through a ship. So I'm assuming they're talking about these. These are the emergent. Ogun? Uh, yeah, Chief. Uh, yes, these emergent would be best countered by missiles. A swarm of missiles. How convenient that we have a missile cruiser. <laughs> a swarm of missiles should hunt them down. Ah, that they will. It is good to have our expert, have your expertise, Ogun. Ogun? Okay. All right. So, that, okay. Good. Let's put another lathe down here. Let's maybe send this lathe out to take this one. I don't know if we can or not. Uh, maybe we'll send a cruiser with him. Just as kind of backup, maybe we'll send, uh, we'll start building a destroyer over here. Let's kind of backup over here. Let's get this, the command cruiser moved over here. Let's also, uh, yeah, we can place down some Omnis over here as well. Omni, Omni, 
Excellent, taking that land nicely. And Omni right here too as well. Omni, Omni, perfect. Excellent, actually this is going very well already. Let's get some Dischargers out because I assume they have some stunners. Yeah, that center thing is a stunner thing. Okay, let's get the Discharger over here. We're probably gonna have to have multiple arenas of battle again. Let's get our grabbers built. Should we face it right into this, uh, or should we go dead ahead? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. Let's go dead ahead for now. Uh, no, 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 I'm a, well, I don't know. I have no idea what the right answer is. I don't know, let's, let's face our, our grabber in like this right now, so we can sort of take care of some of that extra schmutz that's lying around. Let's get our micro tanker and our hammer built because the hammer is amazing. Now we've got our missile launchers, our missile cruiser right here and our basic cruisers. Uh, we're probably, yeah, let's send our command cruiser back up here. We're gonna kind of redirect. Maybe we'll go after this northern stuff. You know what? I'm gonna change direction of this grabber. We're gonna face it towards that warp area right there. That should be good. Excellent. Uh-oh. Just got hit. Uh, the stunner. Uh, I wonder. Let's maybe put the destroyer. Where is the destroyer? Let's put the destroyer down in here to kind of defend this one. It looks like they're coming in pretty hard, actually. Let's like, maybe get this lathe down here just in case they do manage to destroy it. Yeah, that's probably a really good idea. There we go. That lathe is going to get hit all the way down. Uh, it looks like they're maybe going after the other one, too, as well. So hold on. Yeah, like there's particulate coming after this mine, too, as well. Uh, the grabber is finally active. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's get the command cruiser moved up here. And the missile launchers, let's just kind of skirt around, get the cruiser moved in. The Joven, I think the missile launcher is a good candidate for the amp gem. Let's get the amp gems on him. Let's get keep the Joven, Joven there kind of as support close to him. And maybe the stun, oh, uh, stun protection. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, uh, there we go. And we're going to bring the... Um, the mini tanker up north. Hopefully we're not too separated here. Ah, see we got stunned. The mine, the mine got stunned. Ah, okay. So maybe should, we should, I don't know if we should put the stun, uh, the, uh, what, is, what are these called again? Sorry, the dischargers. Maybe we should put a discharger sort of in between the two. So this, this one we could probably take, we could probably take this one, but let's go after the north here. We've got, we've got particulate coming through the warp. Yeah, that's working okay. Okay, so let's start moving in this way. Maybe we'll bring the hammer with us. Hammer's always a good ship to have when you're doing kind of an assault with lots of schmutz. Look at all that particulate. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna have to bring that, but we I think we also have to maintain security in all three of these arenas, at least for now, because we've got particulate coming this way, we've got particulate coming down the center, <laughs> and we have particulate over here. So this is actually gonna be really tough. I don't know if we can do this with only one cruiser. Well, we'll give it a shot. Let's move the... Oh, we might have to put an amp gem on our micro tanker here too as well. I don't know. I think we should probably be able to get in there and take that. Maybe get the uh, the Thor in there to kind of defend and a cruiser sort of over here. That should be good. Oh, we should be able to destroy that really quickly. Get in there. Take that mine. Oh, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Just like that. Awesome. Okay, get the cruiser a little bit closer in and let's get the Thor to destroy all this particulate by smashing it to pieces. <laughs> Pardon me. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, I guess that particular, you know, coming through the wormhole, wormhole here is just to kind of support as we do our assault. I don't know. It's Everything's by design as far as I can tell. Uh, let's move the Thor and destroy all this particulate, please. Smash. Oh, so these guys are shooting particulate. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's get the Thor right up into position. Let's get... Oh, 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 no, no, no. Careful, careful. I didn't realize there was an emitter there. There is an emitter right here, so can we take that without too much trouble? Uh, maybe? I think we're, actually we're doing okay. The Thor is getting hit, but it's it's doing okay. Uh, oh, uh-oh, we we lost this mine. It got stunned. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, we're back. Uh, we need to send up somebody over here to kind of defend this mine because it's going to go down. Oh, th w there's a lot of fronts in this in this war here. So we have to maintain all of these. Oh, okay, so we got that. Can we destroy this this little gun thing? We can. There we go. We're working on that. Excellent. And then this one, we're probably going to have to bring in the micro tanker to help support that. It's neat having all this particulate coming in to support us. That's great. And then the Thor is actually doing a great job. Uh, actually, he's not taking any damage at all. Oh, just like that. Oh, wow. When it blew up, did you see the particulate fly at our ships? I didn't expect that. I wonder... Hmm, interesting. That's an interesting tactic 
So if they have a lot of particulate around them, when they blow up, they will, uh, they will, the, they will shoot those all that particulate at, uh, at, uh, at you, at your guys. So gotta be careful with that. Okay, so we'll destroy that gun. So pretty simple. I think we're gonna destroy the guns. Maybe come back up, destroy this gun, and then maybe take the center and then go back down and take these guys. We might have to take the the other two guns before we take the center too as well. I don't know. We could probably redirect our grabber now. Let's go. Let's go back to center here because it looks like there's a lot of stuff coming from the center. As a matter of fact, we might even need to have because it looks like there's some kind of landmass here. We might even want to face this guy right about here and then build a second grabber to redirect the particulate so it's going after that mine. There, that should work. Okay, good. Let's send in the Thor. Piece of cake, piece of cake. Actually, the missions are not that hard yet. This is, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I haven't gone into that center area. I don't know what we're going to end up having having to face. So it could get much, much worse and it probably will. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to assume this is easy yet because we're not, we're not quite there. We're not quite done. Uh, but so far, so far, not so bad before we get in there. Uh, is that close enough? Nope, we gotta move in just a little bit more. There we go. There we go, the cruisers. Maybe move that in a little bit more. I like how you can kind of fit them in together. Kind of, you know, perfect little shapes that kind of fit nicely snug together like that. So that gun's going down, and look at all that particulate coming in. All our friendly particulate. Okay, so there is an emitter right here. So maybe, maybe as we're going through, we take out that emitter. Because I think... I think if we just go in like this, let's not put our micro taker in front. Oh, the Joven's just sitting there. How silly. So, because if we can take this mine, then we can move everybody up, I think. So let's get everybody moved in here. Oh, oh, not that grabber. Let's get that guy moved in. Make sure that our micro tanker's in position and move in. Take this guy. Get the Thor sort of in position to defend against that. Against the, uh, against the emitter there. Wonderful. So we got the mine. Wonderful, just like that. Oh, wonderful, beautiful. Let's move the Thor in to kind of take all that damage and get the command cruiser in behind the Thor to destroy that emitter. Hopefully we can take the onslaught here. It looks like we're gonna get take a beating. Let's get the cruisers up quickly and the Joven and the cruiser, the other cruiser, and of course our defensive, oh, <gasps> emergent, oh no. Okay, so it, it hit the ship, but it didn't, it didn't do that much damage. So actually I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. So the emitter is dead. Done like dinner. Let's go around here. Let's get the Thor over here to defend while we destroy this gun. Piece of cake. We can probably start moving in this lathe too as well. I think we're, well, still a stray shot. You know, occasional stray shots. Yeah, okay, perfect. I was just checking to see if the Omnis are all done too as well. So I guess we're probably gonna have to bring in the Omnis to take over all of this landmass too. I'm assuming, oh, let's get a cruiser in here, please. Just help defend the cruiser, or the command cruiser, because it looks like we might be in trouble. Nah, it's okay, it's just the other gun shooting. So let's bring in the micro tanker. Micro tanker can go right there. Cruisers moving in. Excellent, excellent. And then of course the command ship can destroy the, the gun. Just like so, just like clockwork, I love it. So all of our friendly particulate is hitting See, I almost think we need to get a better angle on that. So if we go right about here, let's... So we can aim that towards that mine that's just filling up with particulate. Yeah, right about there. We want to kind of miss that landmass because see how we're uh, getting our particulate stuck on that landmass. There we go, done deal. All those guns are gone. I think that was it for guns. Excellent, excellente. <laughs> now let's prepare to assault the main, assault the main base here. And get, uh, we should maybe get some of these, uh, some of these Omnis ready to go too as well. Maybe, I don't know. Let's get them sort of in behind the rest of our crew so that we can move them in when it's time. I don't want them falling behind. Now, I, I think there's a way to destroy the Omnis and then rebuild them, but I'm not going to bother with that. I don't, I don't think we need to do that. I think you lose some energy doing that anyway. Not that it matters. We have a ton of energy. Like, there's no shortage of energy right now. Let's make sure that we've got our stun protection get the other one in here. I think that's probably safe right now. Maybe even get the lathe in here. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's make sure that the cruisers are taking care of... Oh, look at all those emergents. They're coming in. So make sure that we've got our uh, missile launcher nice and close here too as well. Perfect. And get the Joven in there. Excellent. We just see how we're kind of whittling that away, like piece by piece. Oh, oh, oh. Stun. Stun. 
One more. Perfect. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. Love it when a plan comes together. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Thor, Mr. Thor, get in there and do your hammer thing. It's hammer time. Dear, near, near, near. Dear, near, dear, near. Whatever happened to him? Didn't he go broke or something? Uh, well, MC Hammer? If anybody knows what I'm talking about, well, <laughs> probably nobody knows what I'm talking about. MC Hammer, he was an old artist, an old uh, music artist, and he just kind of disappeared. He did like, he did like two songs, and one of them was a huge hit. It was called Hammer Time, and it was, actually, it was, it was an enjoyable song. I really liked it. Oh, uh, 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 that's why we're having trouble here, because we don't have, we don't have energy. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, man, silly me. I forgot to bring in my... Micro tanker. That could have been a bad, bad, bad thing. There we go. There we go. We've got energy, so we can probably start taking out some of these miring devices. Do we have another uh, lathe? Let's get the other lathe in here. Probably bring that sucker right about here, but it looks like there is another emitter, so let's move in and start taking that too as well. Get our command cards. Hey, what was that? <gasps> oh, that was good. Hey, that was really good. Um, okay, we can start moving in. Omnis. Come, Omnis. Uh, is it safe? I don't know if it's safe. Ah, perfect. Wonderful. Ah, that was beautiful. Uh, we can probably take this one too as well with the support of a cruiser. Let's get our missile launchers in here. Because we're getting a lot of these little emergents now. They are doing damage, but not as much damage as, as, as I originally thought that they might do. So let's destroy this guy. Get our cruisers. We've got to keep moving everybody up evenly because often I forget to do that. I think, oh, we're doing well. We don't need to move everybody up. But no, no, we need to move everybody up. Okay, so we can probably land here now without too much trouble. Perfect. And I wonder... Oh, unfortunately, this is not part of the parity volume we're looking for. On the other hand, this cache contains a specific set of coordinates. The coordinates point here in redacted space. They do. It will only be a short jump. One other thing. This cache isn't very old, and it bears corporate, the corporate seal of the last Abraxian executive officer. The seal of the chairman of Chairman Abraxas? They were all purged when House Abraxas fell. How can an artifact from that time have made it this deep into redacted space? A long range and targeted jump would do it. It would take a lot of energy to be, uh, to be a one-way trip, obviously. But something the size of an info cache could be sent in a single jump from the old Abraxian HQ to this point in redacted space. If only if the sender knew the exact coordinates to send it to. Hmm. Anything else in the data? There is, but it is encrypted, and like the encryption of our in our Gelcorp systems, it can't be broken. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so that's fine. Um, good, we got the other info cache here. Oh, 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 get in there. Now, yeah. Almost not fast enough to get in there and just do what we needed to do there. Okay, so we've got one of our Omnis planted. Let's try and get in a couple more before we move forward. We could probably go take out this other Mirer as well. I'm calling it a Mirer because I don't know what else to call it. Uh, we could probably move our missile launchers in there. That's probably good. And then get our lathe in to destroy this sucker with the support of the cruiser. And let's get... Let's move this guy in. Let's maybe put the Thor right here to take the brunt of any damage. Oh, there goes another one! Oh, wonderful! Oh, great! Let's move this guy right here. Ah, see, we're, we're, starting, to, we're starting to move in. We're getting planted. Now they're in trouble. They're in trouble, guys. Yeah, actually, this has gone very well. Very well, actually. I don't think we've... We haven't lost any ships either, which is always good news. Let's move the Thor in. And we could probably... Can we build another Omni? We can. Let's build another Omni, like, right here. Maybe get the Thor moved in. We've got our support. Uh, we can put that back in here. We've got our cruiser here. Excellent. And can we reach that with... Oh, yeah, we can get in there. Sure, we can get in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are going to take a couple hits from the emergence. Uh, not too bad. There we go. We got it. We got this, guys. We got this. All right, lads, let's move forward. Move the Omnis. I think when they're in the air, they're more vulnerable to being knocked down. So I'm trying not to keep them in the air too long. But it, this is going fairly well. I think we're almost done. Uh, oh, another one. Wow, there was a lot of those. Holy crap. <laughs> Almost overkill. Almost overkill. They didn't even know what happened to them. They, they didn't even know what's coming. It's just like, boom, boom, boom. Completely wasted the enemy here. Oh, stunner. Ah, uh, it's taking out... Oh, it did something. I don't know what it did. Let's move this Omni in. Perfect. 
I don't know, maybe I should be moving the rest of my fleet in too, but uh, I think we're probably done here. I think we just need to destroy this stunner with an Omni. A couple more emergent in there, but I think we can probably destroy them as they come in. Just like that. Ah, that was actually a very easy mission. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, but that was super easy. I thought it was easy anyway. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? These missions are going to get harder. I know it's taking longer. The mission took longer, of course, than uh, so I think it's probably the longest we've spent on a mission, but it wasn't that hard. I didn't find it very difficult at all. Really fun. Really enjoyed it, though. And unless something else happens here at the end that I don't know about, I think we're done. Crew, prepare to jump to the coordinates we have retrieved. We are charging forward. Director Ogun, is there something you would like to discuss? Sir, I'm not sure how to say this, or even if I am correct. Go ahead, Ogun. You're probably the brightest member of this crew. More so than Thoth, and maybe even Anna. Oh, that's mean. Your instincts are why you are here. There's a pattern in the wreckage and the technology we find, increasing complexity of the particulate and the signature we found that is evident in the origin world. It all adds up. Adds, adds to what? Intent. The particulate is no accident. It was designed. As surely as any weapon, it was designed. The Abraxian cache was, was most certainly sent here. Was, was most certainly sent here. Ha <laughs> interesting. Uh, yes, Anna was, Anna speculated as such. No, sir, you don't understand. It was sent here for us, or more specifically, you. We will discuss this further, Ogun. For now, prepare for the unknown that awaits in the next system. That was absolutely delightful. I really enjoyed that. What a great way to uh, spend my morning. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We will see you in a couple days, guys, uh, for another mission. Probably tomorrow. I'll probably do another mission tomorrow. Just because I feel like I'll probably do another mission tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do ties. Anyway, guys, take care. I hope you're enjoying the series. Bye. Thank you